Hello, my name is Jim. Sorry. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be my first booktube presentation. I intend to tell you about the books I'm currently reading and the books that I hope to be reading in the very near future. I've been following a few booktubers for a while now. The link's in the description below. I thought I would give it a go. I want to tell you about the books I'm going to read. I don't yet have a credibility bookshelf behind me. You might see some shelves there, but they're holding little die-cast cards, not books. I do have some shelves. Um, let's have a look, see if I can find some books. Here we have some books. There's Americana, which is really good. Fry Chronicles, Istanbul by Oren Pamuk. And here are some books. Most of these are in Georgian, some are in English, but these are for the kids. Here are the kids. Okay, the first book I'm currently reading is this. Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens. In school, we had to read The Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This put me off Dickens for a long time. I think what we have to learn in school destroys some of the magic of reading. And The Tale of Two Cities is one of Dickens' least humorous novels. Then, in the noughties, I was in a book club and they decided to read Great Expectations and I was surprised. I really loved Great Expectations. I moved to Georgia in 2009. This is Georgia and the former Soviet Union, not Georgia, the American state. Georgia, home to one Joseph Stalin. I was telling you about Charles Dickens. When I moved to Georgia, there were not many English books that could be found easily apart from classics. So, I picked up A Tale of Two Cities and Hard Times and read them both. My second reading of A Tale of Two Cities, when I read it for pleasure, was more of a pleasure. I found some humour there, but not as much as in Great Expectations. Then, last year, I decided I wanted to read the whole of Dickens' oeuvre. I started with the Pickwick Papers because that was his first book. I enjoyed that. The next was The Old Curiosity Shop. I chose because I liked the title, although The Old Curiosity Shop of the title doesn't feature very much in the book. Then, I, on Katie Lumsden's recommendation, I read Our Mutual Friend. That was brilliant. There's Dickens' last completed novel set in London and there's just so many characters. It's a very modern novel, particularly considering it's written back in 1870. Then I read Oliver Twist. I wasn't so impressed with Oliver Twist. I didn't find the child Oliver Twist to be a very realistic child. Then I read David Copperfield. David Copperfield was brilliant. Dickens can describe children. Uh, David Copperfield is probably Dickens' most biographical autobiographical novels. And, and now I'm reading Dombey and Son. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm about halfway through. It's Dombey is Paul Dombey who is a successful businessman but he wants a son for his business. His first child is a daughter who he neglects. And then a son is born but the son is quite frail. I'll talk more about this novel when I've finished it. The next book that I'm currently reading is Cry for Beloved P Country by Alan Patton. This is the story of a Zulu pastor who goes from the countryside into Johannesburg to look for his delinquent son. This was written in the 1940s. Alan Patton was a very strong anti-apartheid activist and the book deals with the problems of the city of Johannesburg, the racism with the apartheid system and related issues. It looks like a very interesting read. The fourth book I'm currently reading is Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. This is from the Game of Thrones series. I read the previous book, A Clash of Kings. Uh, usually when there's a film or a TV series, I want to see, I want to read the book first. Here I've seen the TV series first, 
and so I know the characters. I started this about seven months ago and I haven't read much. I read the first hundred pages but I haven't read much since. I don't expect any of you want to read this. I'm not sure if I want to read this but this is on my current reading list. This is Japanese folk tales translated into Georgian. I want to learn Georgian. Georgian has this very strange elven-like script. I haven't read very much because my Georgian is appalling. You can see from the first page I've got lots of pencil marks in there as I try to translate each word. Georgian is not an easy language to learn. The next book which I'm currently reading is The First Man by Albert Camus. I'm reading this in English because I don't have a French copy. There's a problem with reading books in translation is that you lose something in translation. Camus' most famous book, The Outsider, L'Etranger, begins with the line in French, Aujourd'hui, maman est morte. Now, in English, we could translate that as today, mother is dead. But that is very cold, very distant. And a lot of the story is about how we relate to the central character, Merceau, his relationship with his mother, his relationship with other people. We could translate it as today, mummy is dead. But this sounds too childlike. Or maybe today, mum is dead. But then we lose one of the syllables of mamo. Some translators have had today, mamo is dead. Introducing a foreign word into a translation could confuse the reader. With a word like mamo, in most languages, mamo, mama, muta, it means mother. Bizarrely, where I live now, in Georgia, mama means father. Can you believe it? Mother is deda. If a child has a Russian mother and a Georgian father and calls out mama, they both could come running. I don't know what Georgians do about your mama jokes. I have friends from Lithuania, from Georgia. They hate the Russians, but they want to keep the Russian language that they learnt in school because they want to read the Russian writers in the original language. Dostoevsky, Pushkin, Chekhov, Gogol, Tolstoy. If you can read the novel in the original language, it's so much better. Unfortunately, with most of us native English speakers, we have trouble with other languages. I can read French, but that's all. I have to read Spanish writers, Georgian writers, Greek writers in translation. And now for my TBR list. First on this list is another Charles Dickens novel. This is Little Dorrit. On Goodreads there's a read-along of Little Dorrit in the Dickensians group led by Bionic Jean. I would have started this but because I'm reading Dombey and Son I thought reading two Dickens novels at the same time with Dickens' wealth of characters I'll get confused between the two. So I'm waiting till I finish Dombey and Son before I start Little Dorrit. These are some more short stories. This is Noda Dumbadze. Noda Dumbadze is a Georgian writer. I'm reading it in English translation. My Georgian is not up to this yet. Of the Georgian authors I've read in translation, Noda Dumbadze is my favourite. He's very funny. He was writing during the Soviet Union time in the 40s and the 50s. This is I hope this will be a good novel. I have one of his other novels, Granny, Illico, Ilarion and I. I read this, I really love this. It's a very funny book about these characters in Guria and Guria is a region of Georgia and the interaction between them. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe below. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. If you've read these books, I'd be interested to know what you think about them. See you next time. Bye.